From the outside, Typically, there isn't anything particularly strange or unusual about a school or the people inside it. These institutions were built to nurture and shape young minds generation after generation, which is, of course, a positive thing. However, the blinding darkness and deafening silence that envelops these places at night or during academic breaks somehow makes these places eerie and creepy to our senses. If you've ever been in an empty or abandoned school, walking down a long hallway, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm Andrew, and thanks for tuning in to Scary Mysteries today. We have a creepy one for you here, and if you guys want even more crazy, uncensored videos from us, or you just want to show some support, please go check us out at patreon.com slash scary mysteries. Now, here are five haunted and horrific elementary schools from around the world. Number five, Farrar Elementary School. When we talk about ghosts, phantoms, and the paranormal, we can expect to hear some skeptic reactions. This shouldn't come as a big surprise as most of us rely on our empirical senses, sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. For a cynic, the evidence must be clear before he or she can form a judgment. A man named Griffin Landa considered himself a skeptic when it came to the supernatural. But everything changed for him when he experienced something unexplainable at Farrar Elementary School. Landa is a recording engineer who works with a metal band called Ghost Hive. As the name suggests, these musicians are paranormal junkies who decided to record their music at this school. You see, what makes Farrar Elementary School special for them was the fact that this institution was entirely abandoned and supposedly teeming with ghostly activities. Built in 1921, it served the community and the Farrar and Bondurant areas in Polk County, Iowa for more than 80 years. It's quite interesting to note that right in front of it sits a 150-year-old cemetery. Over time, the population of Farrar dwindled, so the students did as well. District leaders then decided to move them to the much more populated Anderson Elementary and Bonder it. By 2006, Farrar Elementary School had completely been abandoned. The building began to crumble, vegetation taking over the place, and the number of tombstones in the cemetery grew in numbers. In that same year, a couple named Jim and Nancy Oliver purchased the Shattered School with the hope of renovating it and making it their new home. They were quick to determine, though, that they were apparently not the only inhabitants of that building. They began hearing mysterious voices as well as slamming doors. They also would see shadowy figures appearing and then mysteriously vanishing in the hallways and the stairwells. At first, they chose to ignore the strange happenings, but as it became more clear, they had no choice but to recognize them. This baffling tale continued when the aforementioned Ghost Hive Band rented the place and made it into a recording studio. Despite all the warnings to stay out, the group couldn't help it and went ahead with their plan. Landa also proceeded to set up his equipment, and one day he was monitoring the band playing in the classroom next to his. Suddenly, the computer screen where he was watching them flickered and showed some static interference. This was not supposed to happen on a modern device like a computer, and a few moments later, the screen flashed back on. His audio monitor then began to act up, and for reasons he still doesn't know to this day, the volume in his headphones blasted all the way up. The sound was so loud, it reportedly almost blew his eardrums out, and he didn't even touch any controls. The incident totally changed his perception of the supernatural, and Landa, like any skeptics, wants to believe that ghosts are not real, but things are bound to change when you experience it firsthand. Number four, Parker Road Elementary School. Structural experts consider it a taboo to build over old or abandoned cemeteries. They thought of it as disrespectful to the dead and their surviving relatives, but 
The need for spaces compels authorities to allow developers to construct structures on top of them sometimes. The Parker Road Elementary School in Florissant, Missouri is a perfect example of just this. The building was erected on what was once used as a graveyard. As is the custom, the graves that once inhabited the place were usually relocated someplace else. Locals believe, though, that in this case, developers had missed transferring a few. And at this point, you probably know what's going to happen next. It's said that the spirits who were disturbed in their eternal rest and were still left on the site began roaming the halls of the school. In one case, young students would often tell their teachers about the sound they heard of a girl weeping in one of the school bathroom stalls. To quell the commotion, adults decided to check the cubicles, but much to their confusion, they didn't find anyone in there. Fortunately, the weeping girl remains mainly to her spectral self and doesn't cause any other problems, except for perhaps giving the kids the creeps. However, she wouldn't be the only one to cause such a ruckus at the school. Apparently, a woman often seen in an emerald-colored long dress, is reportedly terrorizing the place. Witnesses describe the entity lacking eyes in her ghoulish head. She could be spotted wandering down the halls and sometimes even chasing down students who happen to see her. Teachers weren't spared of the ordeal either. It's been reported that some members of the faculty have heard blood-curdling screams occurring after hours. Despite all these issues, Parker Road Elementary remains dedicated to providing primary education to the community. However, we still can't help but wonder how these people could deal with these inexplicable disturbances perpetrated by entities who once resided on the land. Number 3. Poastown Elementary School If a building stands long enough, it's bound to tell haunting tales. For Daryl Wisman, his life's mission was to ensure that the stories of his alma mater, Poastown Elementary School, would be heard and experienced by everyone. Weisman had attended the primary school in Ohio back in 1963. And ever since then, the place has held a special spot in his heart, so much so that in 2004, despite not having that much, he bought it for $189,000 to make it his home. This happened after the school was closed down in 2000 and remained abandoned for many years. And had it not been for Daryl and his wife Brenda, the building would have remained decrepit. Work immediately began on making the place livable, at least for him and his family. However, things took a spooky turn just as quick. During their first few nights, the Weitzmans heard voices all along the quarters. This occurred even though it was only them that were on the property. It didn't take long for them to realize that the school was haunted, and several other manifestations followed, and it wasn't only him and his wife who experienced them. One day, one of his contractor friends offered to help repair the top floor. Suddenly, the man, whom he described to be as tough as a nail, was heard letting out a shriek upstairs. He then came running down as fast as he could, as if he was chased on by a killer. His face was seen as pale as a white sheet, and without hesitation, he told the homeowner that he saw a ghost. Mr. Weissman told his wife about the incident, and they then decided to call in paranormal investigators. It's believed that more than a hundred of them have since combed through the school's 54 rooms, and each of them were able to confirm that indeed the building is haunted. Word quickly spread like wildfire. Muggles began to pour into the site, hoping to get an otherworldly experience, and suffice to say, they got what they came for. This inadvertently gave the Weissmen some earnings on the side as they began to charge visitors staying and camping within their vicinity. Those who would like to get their money's worth chose to record their adventures, and sure enough, this helped further propel the school's fame. In one of the recorded videos posted on the Poastown School website, you can hear the sound of the child yelling and running around. Another piece of footage shows a classroom door opening on its own. 
Though it's hard to explain the haunting, some experts believe this could be tied to the two train crashes that happened about a mile away from the school. The first was in 1895 and the other in 1910. The two incidents happened on the same day, July 4th. The 1910 crash in particular claimed the lives of 24 people and injured at least 35 more when a passenger train rammed into an oncoming freight train. It was revealed after that the area that would later become Poastown Elementary was used as an emergency shelter for the victims of the crash. Those who passed away in the accident supposedly couldn't cross over to the afterlife and so they chose to stay in the building. Considering these many hauntings, Blastown Elementary ultimately came up with a motto that says, When you leave, you believe. Number 2. Tat Tack Elementary School For the wealthy and even the avid travelers, Hong Kong is best known to them as one of the best shopping destinations in the entire world. However, there's so much that this Asian territory has to offer Visitors get to enjoy its various offerings like mountainside sightseeing, local food, and extravagant festivals. Still, there's a small pocket of travelers that see this state in a different light, and that is something to do with its dark and haunted side. One of Hong Kong's famous haunted sites is the Tat Tak Elementary School. Based originally in Ping Shan, Yuen Long, The school then transferred to its current location in 1974. From that time up until 1998, the institution had served as a center of primary education in the area. Nothing unusual was heard about it until it closed the following year. It turns out that during its operation, a school mistress had died by suicide by hanging herself in the girl's toilet. The stories indicate that the woman had worn a red dress when she took her own life. You see, according to Chinese superstition, if someone dies while wearing all red, that person will return as a powerful, vengeful spirit. And sure enough, sometime after the tragedy, a young schoolgirl was said to be possessed by the spirit of the woman. She behaved bizarrely and even attacked her classmates trying to help her by biting them. And she then attempted to try to hang herself in the very place that the headmistress had taken her own life. Decades after its closure, those who dared to enter the abandoned school reportedly had encounters with what they now call the Red Lady. Adding more to its infamy was the fact that the village where it stood has a tragic history. During the British occupation, residents were massacred and buried right in that same place, In 1941, when the Japanese took over, locals were also killed there, their remains buried in graves built into the hillside next to the school. Nowadays, Tat Tak Elementary School is nothing more but a site of decay and disrepair. The broken windows, battered doors, and withering chalkboards add more to its already haunting appeal. Number one. Matthew Whaley Elementary School You might not know this, but hauntings are not necessarily tied to a specific place, in this case a school. As mysterious as it already is, sometimes it can happen in ways that are nearly impossible to explain. And one such case is the haunting of the Matthew Whaley Elementary School. The story begins in Virginia with a teacher named Mary Whaley who had a son named Matthew. Tragedy struck when young Maddie, as he was lovingly called, died at the very young age of nine. No one knew the cause of death, but it brought so much grief to his mother. And to honor his memory, Mary gave all she had to help expand the little school where her child had once attended. It subsequently became known throughout the community as Maddie's School. The grieving mother eventually left for England and entrusted the operation of the school to a local church. The Civil War happened after, which led to the destruction of Maddie's school. However, in 1870, the people of Williamsburg, Virginia, amassed funds to build a two-room brick building in honor of the deceased child, and they chose to retain the name. 
Years passed, and in 1929, the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation purchased the lot and built in its place the Governor's Palace. Its third and present location is at 301 Scotland Street in Williamsburg, Virginia, and at this point, the school was named Matthew Whaley Elementary School. And although the new Matthew Whaley School is without a doubt a prestigious institution for primary education, it's also infamous for other things, the kind that can creep you out. Apparently, Maddie has formed a strong emotional bond with the school of his namesake and not the actual building itself. Despite the several transfers, the young kid, in this case his spirit, couldn't let go of the place. Student and teachers alike swear that the child's spirit is often seen wandering around the school grounds and playing in its facilities. Those who have encountered the apparition describe it to be resembling that of a small boy, and there are also others who reported hearing his footsteps throughout the empty halls. Interestingly, though, Maddie isn't the only one responsible for these strange occurrences. In the 1950s, a lot of violence and atrocities were committed against the African-American population, and lynching had become common practice, and this escalated even more during the time of integration. Around that time, it's been rumored that two boys were lynched on the very grounds where the current Matthew Whaley Elementary School stands. Time has since passed, but their troubled spirits have remained. Witnesses reported seeing these two poor souls roaming around the school, sometimes even interacting with the students themselves. Maddie and his two friends may have gone through different tragic circumstances, but still, they all share the same unfortunate fate of dying too soon and not being ready to leave. Thank you very much for tuning in. Check out some of our other strange and scary mysteries over here on the right. And remember to hit those notifications so you don't miss out on our new videos coming out three times a week. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.